Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 527, and this movie is called Coal Mine. Coal Mine is a 2009 stop motion animated film that is directed by Henry Selick, which is spelled S E L I C K, Henry Selick, and is also based on the book of the same name by Neil Gaiman, which is spelled G A I M A N, Neil Gaiman. So, this is from Footless Features, Riker Studios, and Pandemonium LLC that I saw on August 15th, 2022, at Regal Cinema 16 in Deerfield Town Center in Mason, Ohio. And this is the very first movie from Riker Studios. So, this is about an adventurous 11 year old girl named Pauline who finds another world that is a strangely idealized version of her frustrating home. But she doesn't realize that it has sinister secrets. So, Pauline is about an 11 year old girl who moves to an old house. She feels bored and also neglected by her busy parents. So she is just boring around the house, and she finds a hidden door with a brickled up passage. During the night, she crosses the passage and finds a parallel world where everybody has buttons instead of eyes, with caring parents and all her dreams coming true. And she believes that this might be what she wants. She wants to be loved. She wants to be cherished. She wants parents to care. She wants the atmosphere to be lovely. And it just seems like there's nothing that could ruin it. Well, there was a little bit of a problem. When the other mother invites Torwine to stay in her world forever, there is a catch. The other mother and father wants Torwine to have buttons sewed into her eyes, and Torwine refuses, and also finds that the alternate reality where she, where she is trapped is only a trick to war her. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so Coraline just wants to be loved and wants to have caring parents. Because it seems right that the parents she has are being or regretting her. And Coraline doesn't seem to have anybody but herself. But then she finds this alternate idealized version. Where she does have caring parents and everything is better. But then she realizes that it's all a, tra a trap. In other words, it's a trap to get Coraline into this world forever. So Coraline must find a way to get out of this parallel universe before it's too late and before she gets buttons into her eyes. Because when she sees the buttons for the first time, she is shocked. But she's even more shocked when the other mother and father asked her to put, her, put the buttons in her eyes. And that's when things start to go on. Because Torman realizes that she needed she needs to get out of this universe. Or this alternate world before it is too late. And this definitely sends a message. Be careful what you wish for because you never know what will happen. I really enjoyed this movie, right? I seriously enjoyed this. And it has the total fanning portraying Torrine in the film. Anyway, so this is a stop motion animated film. In other words, the characters are puppets. 
well, I'm going to say purpose, but in the film, it looks like it's, and it is animated, but it's actually, the process of doing this film is they're actually, the, the creators behind the film are actually using puppets and dolls, I think, anyway, to create the film. In other words, they're doing this entirely by hand, rather than on, on a computer or draw or a uh, paper. It's really cool. I definitely enjoyed that. And like I said, this is the first, first film from Riker Studios. There's been others, right? Paranorman, The Boss Trolls, Cooper and the True Strings, and Missing Link. Oh yeah, this is a must-see, guys. I definitely enjoyed it. So that's my movie review of Coraline. Please stay tuned for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.